Hi everyone, I'm Joe Stovenal. Welcome to my channel, Joe Stow Guitar. Today we're going to work on the dreaded F chord. Yes, the F major chord. It seems impossible if you're a beginning guitar player, but I'm going to show you some tips that will hopefully help you get a better handle on playing that chord a little bit quicker. And uh, so let's okay, get started. Okay, so the F major chord. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my third finger, my ring finger, and I'm going to put that on the fourth string at the third fret. I'm going to take my second finger and I'm going to put that on the third string at the second fret. And now my first finger is going to have to bar across or cover both the first and the second strings at the first fret. And uh, if you have small hands like me, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for you. So uh, don't worry about it. You're gonna you'll get it uh, in a, in a short amount of time. Don't worry about it. But uh, but you're gonna it's gonna feel like a little bit of a stretch. Now one of the common problems with this chord is uh, sometimes you're pushing down so much on your uh, the tip of your first finger that the the first string that high E string you don't hear. So you have to make sure that your first finger is flattened out enough that you can hear both the first and the second strings. Now, what generally happens when you do that is most people, when they're starting out, if you flatten out your first finger, well, your second and third finger are going to tend to flatten out as well. And that's what you don't want to happen. So even though you're flat, you have to keep your first finger flat on the strings. Um, now notice, uh, here's another little tip. I have my first finger. It's not. I'm not square on the strings with the with my uh, the the bottom of my finger. I'm actually rolled up on the side of my finger a little bit, and that actually helps it to push down the strings a little better because there's less uh, less flesh there, less skin there. So and uh, so it's actually able to. I can I can push the string down much easier that way. Now I'm not all the way up on the side, but I'm not all the way. Um, on the bottom of my finger either. I'm just kind of in right in, be in between section. You'll find the spot on your finger where it's comfortable for you. And then uh, your second and third fingers, now they're going to have to be up on your fingertips. So now that is the F major chord. So now be sure to give equal pressure. Uh, it's, easier to, it's easy to push down your second and third fingers, but that first finger is going to take a little bit of effort and that seems to be the biggest problem uh, beginning students have. So it's easy, you know, it's pushing enough pressure down on that first, uh, first finger. Generally, it sounds like this when somebody makes an F major chord. If that's you, don't worry about it. Just keep trying, okay? Now, uh, side note, because there's a little bit of a stretch involved here, if your hand starts hurting in this area here, um, then just take your hand off, just kind of shake it out a little bit and come back to it maybe in five, 10 minutes, all right? You don't want to get tendonitis. I don't want anybody having any problems with their hands. So it's just gonna take a little bit of force. And like the other videos where I told you how to, uh, showed you how to play the uh, chords, um, take your hand off, bring your hand back up, make the chord, and do that multiple times so that you uh, have the, learn the muscle memory of that chord shape. Now also, like before, don't forget to check for your dead notes. Make sure there's no. Make sure there's no dead notes. If there are, figure out why it's doing that and fix it. Generally, for this F major chord, it's usually not enough pressure. And now for strumming it, I'm going to strum it like we would the D major chord, and I'm just going to strum from the fourth string down toward the floor. Okay. that is the F major. Okay, so here's one other little trick you can do. If you're trying to play a song that has an F major chord in it and it's still giving you problems, but you want to keep trying to play the song, um, keep practicing the F major chord. But if it just doesn't, you can't get it to work in the song while you're practicing the song, um, try this. What we can do is play an F major seven chord, which is actually a little bit easier. 
And what I'm doing there is I'm I have my F just the same fingering as my F major, uh, the F major chord. Yeah, getting tongue tied again. Um, and then, but all I do is I get my first finger up on to the second string at the first fret and let the high E string, the first string, ring open. No fingers. And it sounds like that. So that might be a little bit, a little shortcut for you to play uh, the F major chord. So if you come across an F major chord in a song that you really want to play, you can use this for a while, this F major 7 uh, fingering, until you're able to play the correct F major uh, chord. Okay, so that's the dreaded F major chord. Um, so I hope some of those tips will help you to get a better handle on playing the chord. Let me know how it's going down in the comment section uh, below. Leave a comment and uh, you know, tell me if it's still giving you problems, if any of those tips worked, or if you have a tip that might help somebody else, uh, definitely put that down there. If you like these kinds of videos, please hit the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video.